been a third-party vendor for uh, the Delphi product line ever since its inception. Actually, we started a week before Delphi One was launched, and so we have a very long history with the Delphi product. One of the things that we find so compelling about the product is that you can actually go from idea to implementation in, in, in a customer's hands very fast. It really allows you to take your ideas, get them down into a prototype, and from there you can build off of that into an actual working application, get all the benefits of native code, um, use a very rich, modern, object-oriented language, and there's really no language on the market that overshadows what Delphi can provide. It's evolved over the years, which is great. So it's not something that's been static. People hear Delphi and they think, oh, that not that based on Pascal from 25 years ago? It's like, no, no, no. This is not your grandfather's Pascal. This is a modern language with all the, the trimmings that you know, language you know, experts want to have. I had you know, a previous history of Turbo Pascal development, so I was well familiar with kind of the basics of what they were trying to do. But when they put it all together, that was a game changer, pure and simple. Um, back in the day, everybody wanted to, you were building client server applications, going against the database, and you needed to get it done quickly. And, and the options that you had, you spent more time in code and trying to anticipate what it would look like on the screen. And it was very cumbersome. All of a sudden, we now had what our app was going to look like while we're developing it. Well, what a fun time to be a Delphi developer again. You know, if you look back, um, there have been, you know, highs and lows in the Delphi world ever since its inception. And what's really cool about it is that you've got essentially three versions of the product in one. You've got the, the next generation of the 32-bit side, which has got brand new features and functionalities with the VCL styles. And so, you know, third-party vendors like Ray Software and others, we're gonna be taking advantage, leveraging all of those to really give a modern appearance to your applications. You now have the 64-bit compiler, which has been a long time coming. Developers have been wanting that for a very long time. 64-bit machines are very commonplace now. Um, and most companies are now migrating to Windows 7 64-bit as their default OS. So now we can leverage all the capabilities of that. Um, in addition, you've got the whole cross-platform story with FireMonkey and, uh, and all the capabilities of that. And even if you're not looking at cross-platform, you can take advantage of even more sophisticated user interfaces with FireMonkey than you could ever do before. So great, exciting time.